okay one evening they started to visit a stream at the end of their village they went to the stream and over the stream there is a bridge this bridge has six lamp poles six lamp poles and they have the equal distance from one pole to another pole it is 100 meters from one pole to another pole the distance is 100 meters from one pole to another pole so totally the length of the bridge is 500 meters so the poles are placed with the distance of 100 meters each from one pole to another pole okay they walked on that bridge they returned to home and Laila wanted to prepare a nap of that bridge so she has taken she has drawn the bridge with the scale and she placed the six poles she maintained the equal distance between one pole to another pole. She has taken the one centimeter from one pole to another pole. You see here. Why she has taken the one centimeter one pole to another pole? Because the actual distance is 500 meters. Can we show the 500 meters on a paper? Is it possible? No, it is not possible. So, she has taken 1 centimeter for in place of 100 meters. She has taken 1 centimeter in place of 100 meters. She reduced the size of actual distance. She reduced the size of actual distance. So, what we call it? It is a scale. Scale is used to show the distance of two points on the actual place is reduced and shown on the map. It is the scale. So, scale is nothing but it is a ratio, ratio between the distance of between the two points on the map to the distance between the two points on the actual place it is scale for example when they were drawing the map of bridge they showed the 100 meters as a one centimeter they reduced 100 meters to 1 centimeter and they have taken the 1 centimeter for 100 meters they reduce the size it is the scale so scale, what is scale scale is 1 centimeter on the map is equal to 100 meters on the actual place we can show that scale on the map this is important we can, with the help of that scale, we can understand easily and we can measure the distance. We know the actual distance. We can find out the actual distance also. Already they have given the scale 1 centimeter on the map is equal to 100 meters on the actual place. So, when we measure 1 centimeter, okay, we measured the distance between one pole to another pole. It is 1 centimeter. Already scale is there. The 1 centimeter on the map is equal to the 100 meters on the actual place. So, we have to understand that the actual distance on that width on that place is 100 meters. Okay, we measured 3 centimeters on the map. So, it is equal to 300 meters. Oh, it is 300 meters distance. We can understand easily with the scale. So, every map we should provide for every map we should provide the scale scale is important feature of a map for the sketch sketch map there is no directions and there is no scale that is scale in the map we have mentioned the 
directions and scale the maps are very small already we reduced with the help of the scale we reduced the actual place we have to show some things for example we have to show bus stand we have to show school and we have to show forest but is it possible to draw the same thing on the map it is not possible because map is very small the things are very big so in that position we have to put some symbols for example to show the school we have to show symbol school of school symbol with rectangle or a triangle we can draw the and we can show it is school we can show it is school with the help of some symbols and we can show trees with the help of some we can show the ponds or the tanks heroes like that we can show port post office and we can show railway line and we can show the wells we can show the cities villages towns with that help of dots points and we can show the border border of the districts or border of the states with the lines and we can show the roads kacha road pakka road etc and we can show the settlements houses settlements means so all are it is very hard to locate it is very hard to draw all these things on that map it is uncomfortable to reading that map so we are using the symbols in place of actual things we can draw a small tree like diagram on the map which is showing the trees and we can mention po post office ps police station like that generally in the making of maps the map makers they are the called cartographers cartographers means who are making the maps they are using the symbols they all the people using some common symbols these common symbols are called conventional symbols what are that conventional symbols sometimes the map makers use different symbols as they need of course but there are common symbols should be there to understand easily all the people so these are the common symbols conventional symbols the help of these symbols we can understand easily okay for example malika sketch map is converted into a map by placing the directions and using the scale and we used some symbols school symbol bus stand symbol settlement symbol in that map in that map so we can find the distance and we can find the directions and we can understand easily we can find out easily the home of malika and colors colors also used in making maps for example you can see all the is in physical map the blue color generally the blue color represents the water it is represents water body seas oceans like that and the dark brown colors it showing the height of that place for example hills are there it will be showed with a dark brown color dark and the yellow color green color of the forest we are using green color so colors are also important to understand that map understand that place so finally we came to one conclusion that for every map we should have the directions scale or distance and symbols and if we require use the colors also and 
there are important there are variety of maps are there types of maps if i the political map physical map political map physical map outline map rain map forest map soil map temperature map so historical map so these are the different types of maps so you let us know about them historical maps they will show the kingdoms kingdoms area of the kingdoms the kings they ruled over which area we are showing the that places and the, we are showing the capital cities of that kingdoms on the map that is the historical maps in the political maps we are showing the states districts mandals and countries like this this is the political map physical map in the physical map the physical features of that land this is that in physical map we get the information about the plains mountains plateaus coastal areas water bodies forest like that so finally we get the maximum information through these maps but sometimes we are unable to show all the information on that map sometimes but maximum we get the information by reading that maps so today we have learned about the reading of the maps and making of the maps also